City trading can be a bit like being a bookie here at the racetrack. They're loaded in for this jolly fine race, nine at two to the field. These people always need to make sure they don't take on too much risk. Now let's say I want to place a thousand pound bet that one of these horses is going to win. That's a big wager for me and for this bookie, so he'll want to insure himself against the risk of me winning by placing a similar bet of, say, £500 with another bookie. That means he won't lose as much if I win, but he'll still make a profit if I lose. Kweko Adebole made it look as if he'd insured all his positions, just like these bookies. And he did this by recording fake bets to make the real bets seem covered. In other words, his positions weren't hedged. Of course, the bigger the risk, the bigger the potential profits. In June, he upped his one-way bets, thinking the markets would fall. He'd exceeded his risk limits tenfold with a billion dollars worth of trades. But the markets went up instead. In July, he flipped his position, buying back the investments he'd sold. Then he bet another billion dollars that the markets would go up. They didn't. Losses had reached a hundred million dollars. The markets then rallied for a bit, and he'd managed to get his losses down to two million. He could have got out, but he carried on, doubling up his bets. At one point, some twelve billion dollars of the bank's money was at risk. And the markets were moving against him, an aggressive sell-off underway. In the space of a month, he'd racked up an incredible $2.3 billion worth of losses. That's £1.4 billion.